Now, for decades, Monroe bagging has been a popular challenge for thousands of adventurers. The original list of Scotland's 282 peaks, over 3,000 feet, has remained largely unchanged since it was first published in 1891 by legendary mountaineer Sir Hugh Monroe. Tomorrow marks 100 years since his death. Laura Alderman took to the hills to celebrate his life and legacy. From the Coolins on Sky, Shehalian, the Cairngorms, and the mighty Ben Nevis, Scotland's Munros are our national treasure. Enticing eager adventurers from all over the world, thousands have experienced the pain and the joy of conquering all 282 peaks. The task of mapping and scaling Scotland's mountains was monumental by any means, but Sir Hugh Munro managed it in just nine months. He was a very methodical person and he produced a very good list, which has been getting uh, amended ever since as more accurate information appears. One really does question, if he hadn't produced this list, would the whole thing about uh, uh, climbing clubs or walking clubs, how would that have developed without him? I think he gave it a push to get it started. Since then, over 6,000 people can now proudly call themselves Munro completists. One man who knows more than most about the mountains is Munro guidebook author Rab Anderson. So it seems to be this sort of trend of Munro bagging now that's just getting more and more popular year on year. Why do you think that is? I and mean, I think part of that is, is obviously there's there's increased access to uh, transport, uh, the road infrastructure is pretty good, people are more conscious about being in the outdoors and being fit and healthy. If you just look at the number of people that are out in the hills today, we've seen on not the best day because we've had a really windy day, uh, we've seen a lot of people out in the hill today and you can go to any car park now where there's a Monroe and you will see cars and people on the hill and it's hugely popular now. We're just approaching the summit of Ben Lors. Some out on the hill are veteran Monroeists. Others just bagging a few extra or simply admiring the breathtaking views. I guess it's just a nice sense of achievement and it's great to be out on the mountains. It's nice to start to piece together the landscape. So we're looking at one that we did a few weeks ago over there and get an understanding of the shape of the place. It's the variety, I mean for me it's just the wilderness, um, being out in the wilderness, but there's, there's so much variety of scenery around Scotland. And a hundred years after his death, Sir Hugh Monroe could have hardly imagined the influence that his original list would still have on hill walkers. It's a chance to remember the legacy of a man who helped to document our rugged, romantic and uniquely Scottish landscape. Laura Alderman, STV News. Well, let's see if it's Monroe bagging weather. Here's Laura Piper.